What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Super Sun, and I am back with another legendary video. What are we doing today? This overheated on me yesterday, so I'll be changing the thermostat on that. The reason why I know it's the thermostat is because once it started running hot, I kind of tried to press the the top holes from the radiator to the thermostat, and that motherfucker was ready to blow. So that's the deal with the Camaro. All righty, part two. So thermostat is exactly right on top, which is really simple. Right now, uh, it's all good, of course, because it's cold. So with that being said, I'm gonna drain the radiator and we're gonna move forward. Alrighty, got the holes off. Got the bolts out. Look at all that gunk. Who knows when the last time this was changed. So let me pop this off and see what it's looking like. Highly doubt I could do it with my hand. Oh, nope, there we go. Ew, yuck, this is disgusting. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, yep. And it's a, the probably OEM paper filter. And in the thermostat. Oh. Uh oh. It ain't coming out. All right, let me go in the house and grab my pliers and see if I could finesse this out. Yeah. This thing was clogged. As soon as I opened it, I also drained the radiator. But as soon as I opened it, it just all just fell. Let's see what it's looking like in there. All right. Oh, it ain't looking too bad. It ain't looking too bad. Or it's looking horrible. I don't know, y'all tell me. All right, but you guys know where I'm headed from here. Over at least your favorite auto parts store. Let me go there, grab a thermostat, some gasket maker, most likely the paper gasket, and I got the wire brush and everything in the house. So let me go grab this and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got the thermostat and I got the gasket, but my boy, Dre Lamar, make sure you check him out on Instagram and on youtube i'm put his information right here on the screen make sure you go check him out because when it comes to the sea foam and shit he lives by it since day one he's been telling me to to sea foam star and i'm like nah i ain't doing that nah i ain't doing that so let's see what sea foaming do which you won't see in this video you'll probably see in the next video but let's see what this do hopefully it don't mess up my car because if it do mess up my car dre i know you're watching this and i know where you work all right there you go. Uh, let me know i'm meant to show you all this i got my wire brush there go the housing and there goes the top whatever you call it and i got the thermostat right here all right so let me clean this stuff off and i'll pull you guys back out once it's all done and set it's all cleaned oh i forgot to tell y'all i got a new little housing too or did i just paint it hmm no you know i just painted it so let me go ahead put all this back together and ah oh, damn it i knew i was forgetting something I forgot to get some damn coolant for this damn car. I'm not even gonna put water back in it. So let me put all this back together. Then I gotta run back to O'Reilly's for some damn coolant. So the temperature requirement for the 91 Camaro 305, it's 190. I went ahead and I got a 185 temperature uh, thermometer. Uh, thermometer, thermostat, I'm so tired. I'm still mad that I didn't grab no damn coolant. So uh, once the housing and everything dries, I'm gonna throw it on there, hook the holes back up, and then we gotta go back to O'Reilly's for more coolant. Damn it. So I'm out here making sure I ain't got no leaks, nowhere or nothing. And 
That's what the inside of my radiator is looking like. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but damn, it was hella dirty in there. Seeing that right there make me wish I did run water through it first and then drained it again. Then put the cooling in, but I already put the cooling in and this cooling was like 30 bucks for the two gallons. So I'm not, I'm not wasting this, but I'm gonna just let the car idle for a little bit. Hopefully the fans kick on and everything is good to go. So, hey, we gonna see. What's up you guys? It's your boy Super Sun and Lil Super Sun and we are back. Same video, different day. Yeah. So as you've seen, we changed the thermostat on good old diamond but I'm gonna make clearance in the front. Uh, I went to my uncle's house and I cut part of the side skirt so I have more clearance in the rear, but it's still hitting inside the fender. Let me show you. So I cut that right there and it is hitting, you guys should see it. It's hitting that right there every time I turn Pretty much that's the only place it's hitting at. All the way in front, I have clearance, but it's hitting in the back. So what I need to do is take this wheel off, hammer those spots that it's rubbing and making contact, and this will be a little easy video. All right, so you can see it's rubbing here. It's rubbing there, looking around. It's rubbing up top and it's rubbing there. So I'm gonna just hammer all these spots in, take the inner fender liner out and we go go from there. All right, hammered that in a little bit. So I got way more clearance here. I hammered all of there cause that's the only place it's rubbing. Y'all see I took the wool liner out I hammered that because it was rubbing a little bit at the bottom and I hammered that right there. So we should have clearance, but I don't like the way all this is looking. So I'm about to change a few things. Hey, that looks a little different. Oh, with the red calipers, are those Brembo's? No, those are stocks. <laughs> all right, you guys, so this is it for the passenger side i gotta do the driver's side if you made it this far in the video make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on all post notification because it is only going up from here make sure you like and comment on all the videos and most importantly go follow me on facebook go follow me on instagram at super sun underscore pt2 s-u-p-e-r-s-o-n underscore p-t-2 let's go and we're all done Finally hammered that. I hammered right there. I sprayed it as you all can see. And I hammered it right there. So it shouldn't be rubbing anymore. And the brake calipers are red because they brimbles. Alrighty, so what we gotta do, we gotta put this wheel back on, tighten yeah. it up, and then we go take it to the street to see how much more clearance we have with the 22 inch wheels. Let's go. Yeah, I do. Peace. Peace. This is the end of the video. Camaro's done. Star was done in the previous video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video. But most importantly, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out. Peace.